Hi folks, Pat Gage here, and welcome to this short video. And what this video here is, I'm going to share, share with you the things you, you're going to need to conduct a financial analysis of a apartment building. Okay, this is going to be a high-level overview uh, and give you an idea of what you need to be asking and looking for from the broker or the seller. Okay, um, so the first thing is there's three pieces of documentation you're going to need, and I'm going to show you each one of them. Uh, each one of them after I show you this. One is the offering memorandum or what we call the OM. Okay, and that's basically if the property is listed with a broker, that's going to give you know a, a colored presentation, it's a sales presentation, and I'll show you that here in a second. And then two is the rent roll for the property. Okay, a current rent roll, not something produced you know two years ago. And then also a T12 or a trailing 12. Uh, income and expense report. So those are the three documents that you need when you're talking to the seller or talking to the broker that you're going to do. Now, the rent roll and the T12 are typically given to you after you sign a CA or a confidentiality agreement on the broker's website or some way. So I have a lot of people ask me, well, why do I need to sign it? Because I'll share with you this information, this rent roll and T12 is personal information. It's, it's you know, the rent roll is it lists out the people's names and what they're paying and their room numbers. You know, so it's, it's sensitive information. So they don't want that stuff out in the public uncontrolled. Okay, so let me go over this real quick. Let me get out of this and we'll go over and show you each one of these individually. All right. So let's take a look at the offering memorandum first, okay? And this is an offering memorandum for a property that we were looking at. And basically the, operate, uh, the OM, as we call it, is produced by the brokers. You can see this is Cushman and Wakefield. And what you see, what it does is it has pictures in it. Uh, this, this is what you need to read through to get an idea of what the offering is, what the price is, if it's even in there, you know, and pictures of uh, the property itself. This contains property description, location, market, you know, the market, the financial analysis. And this is all areas in here too, is because it gives you a breakdown of what it is, you know, what they expect it to, to come to. Um, let me make this a little smaller so you can see. You know, here's the here's where it is in the area. This is a good read because you need to understand what they did, and especially what you need to look for um, is right here is when they go in and talk about what they're doing to the property, right? Where the proven proven value had property, right? What have they done to the property? This one here, current ownership has partially rented 80% of the units. Okay, so that's a question for the broker. What does 80% mean, right? I mean, I know if you take it times the number of units, great, but you know, how many units directly, right? Uh, you know, and, and, and they've getting, they say here that they're getting, you know, uh, rent increases of X, Y, Z, or here you go on the bottom, it says $900 average cost of suggested upgrades. I don't know about you, that, that seems like a little bit low, but again, these are what you do is you read through these OMs and you get questions, you get stories, because people ask me as well as, well, once I get this, what, what questions do I ask the, the, the broker? read through these this document that they give you and that will get questions for you you know nine hundred dollar suggested upgrade and you can get you know twenty five to eighty dollar bump in rent okay what specifically am I doing for nine hundred or have they done for nine hundred dollars that's giving me that bump. That's those kind of questions. Then that you get, you know, to read these things here. But these are what you find out is questions about this property that you can then go back and engage the broker with questions. But again, read through this. And then again, this is an OM, so it gives you the here's the area and all that stuff, which is good stuff. And this is all good of what's going on in the actual uh, market. Here's some you know, sites of interest definitely read through that. So this is the OM. Next I want to share with you a, a rent roll here. And this is probably the biggest reason why um, they have you sign the confidentiality agreement. Again, comes in all forms, but basically this is a typical rent roll where it has the unit number, you know, the beds and baths, uh, it has the, uh, the tenant name, and that's why you sign the confidentiality agreement because these are actual people's names. 
You know, are they current with their rent? Are they un you know, and what are they paying? The square footage of the the unit here, uh, you know, the market rent, the actual rent that they're paying. So you use these documents to do your financial analysis of the property. Now, the rent roll information will typically be different than what's in the OM we just saw, because in the OM. They do produce what they call pro forma data, uh, and you know you don't know when that was produced. The rent roll is probably your most current information, as well as the next piece of information I'll share with you is the T12. That was your most current information, and again, it just kind of shows you know the biggest thing is the, obviously the square footage of the units, what they're paying for rent, when when they le when's their lease to and from which is very important if you're buying a property. If you see everybody, we're in 2021 right now, March, you know, you see everybody moved in, you know, last month, and that's when they all started, that'd be a great question to ask the broker, like, okay, did this, this place just become available? You know, why is there so many move-ins? You're looking for long-term tenants. You know, that'll give you another question to ask the broker as well. You know, when, you know, why are all these people moving in? Why did everybody move in in January? Well, okay, well, they just finished renovations and you just got their CFO. Okay, that makes sense, right? So, again, those are questions you can ask the broker. Uh, and, again, a uh, move along that conversation. So, even looking at stuff like this, you need to be taking notes when you're looking at this. So, those kind of questions come up so you can talk back and get back with a broker. And, again, Answering that question, people ask me all the time. Oh my gosh, I don't have anything to say to the broker. You know, you got three pieces of documentation here. You probably get, you know, minimum five, six, seven questions from. Okay, so that's the rent roll. Let me show you, share with you the next piece of information, and that is a T12. And uh, if you know, saw our other video uh, about T12 and doing that, again, the T12 and rent roll are typically going to be in a PDF format or a Dolby locked uh, uh, situation. You want to convert those into Excel so you can manipulate and get these formulas here. I've added these here as well as the colors. Because uh, I converted this so I can manipulate this data. I always trust but verify this information, meaning that I go through and make sure that this adds up to 116, right? And you could do that fairly quickly in Excel. Boom, does that equal 116? I look in the bottom, yes, it does. So I always check this information. But again, the T12 or trailing 12, again, 12 months of income, which is on the top, right? and expenses all the way down here okay so this gives you all the expenses on the property electric garbage sewer total utilities all that kind of stuff and gives a total net ordinary income okay so basically this is why they have you sign the CA agreement or the confidential added agreement is because this is the business plan this is what these people are saying that they're making they don't want this out you know, unfeathered in the public Okay, so hopefully you've gotten from this short video some idea of what is required, what it looks like, right? And some of the questions that you should be gathering, or at least, you know, when you're looking through these, if this doesn't sound right. If you, if you know that, okay, you were driving the property and you saw, you know, five dumpsters, then they have no trash removal on here. Well, then you need to come back to the broker and say, listen, I, I saw a couple dumpsters. Who, who takes care of them? What company is taking care of that? I didn't see it on the T12. And again, this is going to give you a big list of questions on some of this stuff. Not that they're hiding it, but again, folks, you have to trust but verify. Okay? That's the biggest thing, folks, is you need to trust but verify this information. Alrighty? I hope that this was at least a little bit helpful for you. What I would like to do, folks, is kind of give you an idea here and give you a free gift, uh, basically. Visit our website at opportunitycreator.com and download our free special report on what's the best investment, stock market or real estate. I'm assuming since you're still on this video right now and listening to me that it's real estate, but I don't want to make that assumption. 
go ahead and download the uh, free report as well as if you want to talk about investing because we are purchasing properties we are investing you know get sign up for a free consultation we'll talk to you and get you going and see what questions we can answer for you right now all right well, listen thank you very much for your time and energy this has been pat gage and we'll see you on the other side